One dish that a lot of people here in America probably find pretty strange is thousand year egg. It's also called century egg. In Chinese it has a totally different name. The meaning is different. It's pidan. So actually pidan is skin egg, but in, in America it's called thousand year egg. That's what it's called in English. Why is it called that? Because it looks like it's been aged for a thousand years. Of course it hasn't. Actually, it's made using salt and clay and some other things and then aged. So it's a preserved egg and it looks like that because of the acidity in the egg. The acidity in the egg goes up and it changes the color, makes it look like it's a thousand years old. Do you like it? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. And it doesn't lose its its bite. It's not mushy. Right. It's not which mushy. Which is good. Yeah. Yeah. Salty. Salty. Spicy. spicy. Yeah. If you were going to guess what that's called, what would be your guess? It's like a turnip a little bit. Oh, it looks like I a think turnip. It's egg. It's like pickled egg. It's or something. Good. Very good guess. It's pickled egg. So this dish is actually called thousand year egg. I think I'll, I'll pass on that one. But it's, it's actually not a thousand years it's, old. It's like a gelatin almost. You could see you could see through the egg. It's for okay. a meal. Let's we'll go here. Let's we'll go here. Thoughts? It's, uh, weird. Why do you think it's called thousand year egg? Because they leave it sitting there for a while. So I guess <laughs> that weird color. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Not a thousand well. years though. But actually, in Chinese, it's not called thousand year egg. It has a totally different name. What is it? It's pidan, which is skin egg. Go figure. Yeah. I'd rather go with a thousand. <laughs> yeah, I agree. So, as I dig into this final pidan, I think they're pretty much all gone. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and this food adventure.